What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Yes. Yeah! Today we are going to Sensational to get tear off or tear away. It's called tear off. Installed on the windshield of the M2. I'm getting some like rock chips on the windshield and I don't want to have to replace the entire windshield. So I'm actually getting tear off installed by Lewis over at Sensational. And what that does is it just reduces the chances of you getting rock chips in the windshield. It's like a very thin, thin plastic, or I don't know, I'll let, I'll let Lewis explain it to you guys, but it's basically like a PPF for your windshield, essentially, that reduces the chances of you getting rock chips. So we're gonna take the M2 over there and then uh, talk about the process, show you guys it installed and everything, kind of show you how it's done. But like I said, this is something I've been meaning to do for a while, so um, just wanna get it knocked out. Looking like a good dang snack, huh? Definitely doing the LCI taillights. I gotta do that soon. Those are sick. They just look a lot better than these ones too. Gonna do those soon. Uh, add to the list of a million things I gotta do to this car. Would you guys prefer that I give you a cold start with the valves open or the valves closed? Open, right? You want them open? It's a good thing this is valve, man. That is loud. Woo. That is extremely loud. You guys already know what's gonna happen next. Drive the car, get the coffee, go to the shop, do the thing. So let's just get on with it. Hello, can I have a Grande Nitro Cold Brew with sweet cream? Grande Nitro Cold Brew with sweet cream. Anything else? Well, that was nice. Hey, thank you. Uh, no, that'll be it. All right, see you at the window, 536. Thank okay. All right, thank you. You sang us a little song. I like that song. See you on a receipt. That's okay. Yeah. Mm. Damn, that's good. Ooh. All right, let's head to the shop. Open up those valves. Go. Please don't scrape. Please don't scrape. Oh yes. I don't know how I don't scrape on that. It's so low. came with these federals on the back man they're just trash they do not hook up at all so I think we're just gonna do a bunch of donuts and burnouts until they just fall off my car and then I'll get some Michelin Pilot 4S's I think that's really the only way to go unless you guys got like a better suggestion what are you guys using for tires man I feel like everyone just does the 4S's but I also heard people complaining about the 4S's not hooking up either I don't know Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys suggest for tires. to the shop. It's got the doors open for me and everything. And just like that, we're in the shop. Let's do this. This windshield is in really good condition and I wanna try and preserve it as much as possible to, uh, to make sure that I can just drive the car and not have to worry about things. So, Lewis here at Sensational is going to be telling us a little bit about, it's called tear away, right? Or tear, tear offs. Tear offs, yes, so okay. It's a heavy plastic material. Today we're using Clearview, made by Matico. Mm -hmm. um, I think they give like a one year warranty on it. It okay. should last you, you had a year uh, before you start seeing it. Uh, you need to replace 
but for 350 bucks, you can put a tear off on and take any dings, any, not any, but it lowers the impact. Of any like rocks or yes, any pebbles same. that kick up. Correct, to keep lower the chance of cracks yeah. and all the little stone pebble chips, mm -hmm. all the sand marks. So it costs 350 to someone come in here and just pay like yep. 350 to have it done. And a windshield, to replace a windshield is like what, thousand bucks or something? Depending on the car, they're over. Yeah. Um, so um, they gotta be calibrated, they have defrosters in them. Yeah, my E90 was like super expensive to replace that windshield, when so. When you compare a tear off to a windshield, it's a drop in the bucket. Yeah, for sure. And it saves it. So it just makes sense. We meant to do this before when we actually were first prepping the car and doing the paint correction. We had meant to do this before, but we ran out of time. So we're handling it now. Cool, let's get into it. I'm just starting with alcohol just to make sure I start with the degrease surface and clean. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that we get all the bug guts. We can see any marks that are here. So this is the stuff. And you'll see this thing will get cleaned two more times and wipe down. Yeah. Prep is the hardest part with everything we do. I'll say that. It's also the most important part, right? I mean, prep determines prep how good it's going to turn out. Yeah, you don't prep it right, you either leave the stuff behind. That makes sense. Pulled our piece of material, 58 inch. We want just a pair longer than what we're working with. And uh, we're going to give it a rough trim, mm -hmm. meaning we're not going to leave it completely laying over everything. Yeah. We're gonna shrink it down to mold it to the windshield. Okay. And uh, then we'll pull it back off. Okay. We'll wet it and make sure we get a nice tight fit, uh -huh. another trim, uh -huh. and uh, and then we'll install it. We'll do a prep, gotcha. another prep, wipe down, and then hang it. So this is like window film that it has adhesive on one side. Oh, okay. We're, and it has a protective liner. Now we're gonna face that protective liner and the adhesive towards the windshield okay. because that's the way it's going to go down onto right. the car. Okay. And then mm -hmm. this is the, there's no protective layer on this. This is what you will see on the outside of the car the whole time. So you basically lay it down and like get an idea of how big you need and then cut it out? Yes. And because this one's not crazy um, curved, uh -huh. most times these get shrunk wet. I like to do a dry shrink on everything that I can just for the simple fact that you get a more even shrink. Mm -hmm. Now we're just getting into details and installing things. Right. But, um, I'm going to see how it lays, see how many, how much it doesn't want to lay, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to decide real quick whether I'm going to wet it to shrink it all okay. or do a dry shrink and then a wet shrink. So while Lewis is prepping, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about everything that we've done here at Sensational on this car in particular. We did a full paint correction. We've done a full front end PPF. We've done a headlight tint by Dino Shade, S-Tech Dino Shade. And the reason I'm telling you guys because I get a lot of DMs and a lot of comments of what I have done in terms of the exterior on this car, like this kind of stuff. We have the front windshield tinted 50% ceramic the entire Surrounding windows are 20% ceramic. The roof is black vinyl. And then the rear reflectors are also uh, like a dark smoke shade. But we did want to get this tear off installed so I didn't have to worry too much about rock chips and stuff in the future. So I'm gonna be driving a lot this summer, going to car shows out of state. So it's, it's nice to make sure that I just have everything protected. Track this thing. Yes, and tracking. We're gonna be tracking this car, it's happening. I'm getting a helmet ASAP, and I'm gonna be tracking this car for sure. So this will help with that too. I'll actually cut it with our whole top edge, mm -hmm. and then slide it down, and that gives us a nice, clean gap around it. Makes sense. For now, my biggest thing is keeping it a hair big to make sure that I get a nice, clean shrink, mm -hmm. and then I trim it out.
So you see we're just a hair is what we cut big earlier. I trimmed it down so I can shrink the rest of it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the gap we're gonna leave for the time being. I'll trim it and then we'll slide it down. And because I'm sliding down and the way these are angled, I actually gain on the sides. Okay. And uh, that gives us a nice clean gap all the way around. Sure. We can't just turn it right off the edge. I've, I've had them like feather up on the edge, take dirt. Makes sense. So now I've applied this to the glass actually with the liner facing us, so the glue layer is facing us. So I can peel the backing, that's why it wants to curl off. So I usually do it on like a table, lying down over there, but mm -hmm. we're gonna be real quick about it. So. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up the tear off on the front windshield over here at Sensational with Lewis. Lewis, thank you for, for thank doing you. that. He said it was about $350, depending on the vehicle, so that Correct. it's subject to change. I'm, I'm assuming materials will cost more if it's a bigger yeah, windshield. And complexity if it's really, really Install curved, time and all that stuff. Things so. like that. So the idea of putting this on basically is to hope that it will reduce the amount of chips or the risk of getting rock chips or pebble chips when I'm driving on the freeway in my windshield. And as you guys know, I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling this summer, a lot of the car shows like the Keys Auto Show that's coming up in July. Um, you basically just wanna reduce the risk of getting rock chips and this is the best way to do it. So thank you. Thank you. Did a great job. Appreciate Looks really good. We put a little bit of ceramic coating on top of it just to, uh, just to wick some of that water away when I'm driving. And it looks, it looks seamless, it looks really good. So that is it, I just wanted to bring you guys along for the ride today and kind of show you the process of this. I know some of you guys were asking about tear off and kind of what it's all about. And now you have a good idea. All right guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do comment down below, like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification, just like that, this video is over and we are out. Peace.